Also Novanda's love for paleontology, the study of the record of life on Earth through fossils, started early, when he watched the movie Jurassic Park for the first time. Fascinated by the dinosaurs and their researchers, he told his mom that he wanted to meet a paleontologist. I've been interested in paleontology my entire life, so I, I think you saw from that news article that went out from my school. And when I was around four years old, I actually saw Jurassic Park for the first time. And I was just super excited like to believe that people have this as a job, like this is a real thing you could do. I, I asked my mom, I ran up to her and I was like, can I meet a paleontologist? And she was like, Belize doesn't have any paleontologists. The closest thing you could meet is an archaeologist. And she told me about Dr. Jaime Awe being a super famous archaeologist. And I've always wanted to meet him. Um, and I got to meet him a few years later, like when I was in doing my bachelor's degree. But it's it's been my life's dream to do it just because no one else has tried to do it before. And I was just curious about all of these questions I think Belizeans have now that they're starting to talk about paleontology. Did Belize have dinosaurs? What was the ecology like? What was the ecosystem like back then? Was Belize even around? Was Belize even a thing? Was it underground? Was it underwater? So all of these questions I had and now I finally get the chance to try and answer them for the first time. Ovando, the son of famed Belizean musician Al Ovando, grew up in Dangriga, attending ecumenical high school before pursuing a degree in natural resource management at the University of Belize. Eventually, he was able to meet renowned Belizean archaeologist Jaime Awe at the Belize Archaeological Symposium in 2019. Through Awe, Ovando was able to connect with his current advisor at the East Tennessee State University. So Dr. Jaime Awe, I've met him several times throughout the years. And what happens is he actually connected me to my current advisor. I actually was working with the Stan Creek Regional Archaeology Project, which is one of the only archaeology projects that work in the Stan Creek District. And I was a part of their staff for their summer field season. And then I attended the, the, the Belize Archaeology Symposium that's in um, San Ignacio every year. And you know, Dr. Awe is there. He usually is like the highlight almost at every present um at every symposium. So, you know, he was just roaming around and I, and I stopped to talk to him to tell him like what I was up to and that I'm looking into doing my master's degree. So I just asked him, Do you know anyone who's interested in doing paleontology in Belize? And he was like, Yeah, you need to talk to this guy in Tennessee. I think I think he'd be interested. And when I met my my no advisor, um, Dr. Schubert. I was so excited that he was even willing to meet with me. I talked so much, I barely let him explain to me what the, the school was about or things that I could do. Or I was just so happy that someone was finally interested in working with me. Despite the uncertainty of a career in the country, Avanda says that he is determined to work in Belize and is prepared to carve out a place for himself if necessary. Are you confident, even though there's such a lack of presence in the paleontology field, that you will be able to you know, build a career for yourself here? Mm -hmm. So that, that's a very, very good question. I get that question all the time, actually. So my ultimate goal after I finish my master's degree is I want to do my PhD in paleontology. Um, where I do that PhD, I am still unsure. Um, the future is, is very, very unpredictable at this point. Um, but when I do get my PhD, I plan to return to Belize to continue studying the, the paleontology of Belize. I want to make it my life's career and my life's work. And at all costs, that's what I'm going to do. Um, whether or not I think, um, you know, if there's, you know, people want to know what kind of job will I get in Belize? Um, I've I've kind of just had to accept the fact that there might be no job waiting for me and that I might need to create my own job in some way, shape or form. Currently, he is on track to graduate in 2025. Avanda's tuition is waived as a part of his program, and he will be able to publish his research upon graduation. He said that for additional funding, he applies for grants and scholarships every semester. He encourages all Belizeans to pursue underrepresentative careers, even if the path is difficult. Brittany Gordon for News 5.